kicked out for some odd reason, but we're alive again. Uh, uh, my internet kicked out. Ridiculous. Sorry about that, everybody. We're, we're back, though. Kind of. Uh... We're back. Uh, we had an issue. You're just standing around. How absurd. But, we're back. My internet kicked for some odd reason. Anyway, let's go to, um... Let's go to Sumeru. 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 We gotta go to Sumeru. There it is. It looks beautiful. Look at it. Look at it. I'm, I'm crying. Wait, there's mushrooms. Wait. They gave you. Take me with you. Wait, where do I gotta go? Wait. I'm here. Wait, that's fruit? Oh. Look at it! Four leaf sigils. Look at how beautiful it is. I already wish my my net crashed for some reason. Look at these flowers. Wait, why do I have to go? Oh, I gotta go in this cave. Wish, wish, wish. Oh, I gotta go this way. I am waiting so long for this one. All right, here we go. We're in Sumeru, folks. Now that we made it to Sumeru, our next objective should be to head to Sumeru City and find a way to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. Sumeru. And speaking of Lesser Lord Kusanali, even though we haven't heard too much about her, she doesn't seem to be the same deity who abducted your brother. But even so, people call Sumeru the Nation of Wisdom, you know. If we Sumeru! To meet the That's God the of name wisdom, of this? Maybe she can give us some use, but... Uh, Paimon doesn't know the way to Sumeru City. 
Maybe we can climb up to that spot with the Statue of the Seven on it. That'll give us a way better view of things. Even if we can't see exactly where the city is, at least we'll be able to check for some smaller settlements nearby. Wait a second. Look! There's... Who's this? Timing. Now we can just ask for directions rather than wander around like lost adventure. Hey there! <laughs> We're not from around here and seem to have gotten a little lost. Huh? Uh, did they not hear Paimon? Hey! You over there! Could you give us some directions? Huh? What's yeah. going on here? There's no way she could have missed that. Oh, wait! Hmm. Well, even so, she might be heading someplace where we could find other people to ask. Let's keep our distance and follow her. When we get the chance, we'll just ask someone else for directions. Come on, let's follow her. Just keep quiet. Make sure she doesn't notice us. She went over there. Paimon thought this cave would lead to a village or something, but uh, it looks like that's not the case. Look, she's sitting over there. Wait, she couldn't possibly be living here. Uh, what should we do now? All right then. It's not like we have anyone else we can ask. Even if she's not very friendly, we just need her to point us in the right direction. That Oh! Mmm! What a lovely sm- It's coming from that sensor over there! This is definitely not your typical place to call home, but at least it smells nice! Mmm! Maybe living here wouldn't be too bad at- Huh? Uh -oh. What's the matter? You don't look too good. What? Is the smell making you feel sick? Strange! Paimon doesn't feel anything. Wish. What's happening? Traveler? This is no time I already to wished. Come on, wake up. Uh my internet kicked off. Where am I gonna go? Oh, this place looks cool. I got the five star. I won my fifty fifty. Dad, Sky, don't get. I will get every character. I'm going to get her too. My goal is to collect. Also, for everybody new that's joining, please feel free to hit that like button and that subscribe button. It's free, doesn't cost anything. Greatly appreciate it. Wait, what just happened here? Are you sure it's not serious? The traveler has been out for a long time now. Yes, you can relax. Believe me, Master is extremely knowledgeable. If he says that she's going to be all right, oh, it's absolutely nothing to worry about. Oh, interesting. Oh, are you awake now? Oh, thank goodness, traveler, you're finally awake. Well, we're at. Uh, good question. Where are we? 
Hyman was in such a panic when you passed out that she even forgot to ask what place this is. This is Gandarvaville. It was originally built by scholars from Sumeru as a place to rest in the rainforest. Now it's mainly used by the forest rangers as a base of operations. My name is Kale. I'm a trainee forest ranger. My master and I found you passed out during our patrol, so we brought you here. Wait, you ha you got her, Sky? Oh, no, no things are necessary. I didn't do anything really. Nice. By the way, I got the five star. Any discomfort? Oh, <laughs> that's Master's herbal medicine you're tasting. He gave you some while you were unconscious. Uh, before I forget, Master mentioned you should take more medicine once you wake up. <laughs> Uh-oh. Kale, what's the matter? Were you trying to retrieve the medicine? As I've already told you, you must be careful with these. All right. I'll get it for you once I'm finished here. Uh, sorry. <sighs> now, the guide HP. to Avidia Forest's edible fungi no, is wait, clearly what are you posted on our bulletin board. But if far or do you want to make which support? mushrooms to avoid one more time, I'll have no choice make, but to you can guide do Zhang Li with uh, all of his abilities right scale with his HP. So others can remind him to be careful. Right? This is the second time he's come down with food poisoning this month. I'll be sure to give him a good talking to. Yes, please do. If, on the off chance, Farbode simply enjoys having little imaginary fairies dance before his eyes, then we'll just let him be. But the next time he requires any of our medicine, be sure to charge him accordingly. Shiro! Shum! 3.0 is out! And it's beautiful! So. Hello! How are you doing? Feeling okay. better? Oh, oh, you can come up if master, you want! Forest Watcher Tainari. He is chief officer over all the rangers here in Gondarverville. I already informed Paimon about the reason you fell unconscious earlier. We're streaming live on YouTube. You're awake, let me explain it for you as well. It is common practice for Sumeru scholars of certain darshans to dedicate themselves to training and meditation in isolated areas, particularly isolated areas. the nearby forests. While meditating, they use a certain incense known as spirit borneol to help calm spirit their minds borneal. as they enter a state of deep rumination. In hopes of asking directions, you two followed a scholar named Hapasia into her cave. The incense you smelled inside was the spirit borneol I just mentioned. That incense typically has no effect on most people. But for a very select few, it can have profound effects on one's cognition. As you experienced for- Very good. Now, answer me this. Did you feel anything after passing out? Say, any out-of-body experiences? Or did you see anything while unconscious? Hmm. Kali, let the others know to stop bringing their patrol logs here for now. Huh? W why Because these two will be staying here for the next few days. They can have my room and I'll bunk with a me- Yes, Master Tainari. Sure. Let me fill you in. Four I originally and I get planned sending you on your way once you finished your medicine. However, Love it appears this. now that you should stay a while longer in Gondarvaville. Four poles and I get zombie. Nice. Further observation? No need to be Further hasty. Observation. As long as you have the capacity to judge between right and wrong, I promise that you'll understand the gravity of the situation once I explain everything to you. Based on what you saw after smelling the incense and losing consciousness, we can conclude that you experienced a powerful hallucination, which suggests your mental state is not in the best of shape. If I'm not in the mental state. Have a whiff of this. Have a whiff of this? Oh, are you okay? You're experiencing a similar sensation as when you passed out, aren't you? 
So even though your condition is stable as of now, if I were to haphazardly let you leave, it's highly likely that you'd suddenly pass out again somewhere else. The rainforest is home to many fierce animals and hazardous areas. If something were to happen to you again, oh, I'm afraid you might not be so lucky. For now, I suggest you continue taking your medicine each day and avoid wandering off on your own. At least until you stop having adverse reactions to this kind of smell, okay? Good. Now continue resting while I fire up another bowl of medicine for you. <sighs> Seriously? We just arrived in Sumeru and we're already having problems left and right! Paimon knows we're set on meeting Lesser Lord Kusanali as soon as possible, but you really don't look too good. It'd probably be best to let you rec- Uh, hey! Are you even listening to Paimon? Paimon's over here worrying about you, you know! Nice. What's weird? You mean how you're feeling now? You mean, the vision of tree roots and red skies you saw? But if those weren't hallucinations, what could they be? Well, considering how unique you are, Paimon trusts your judgment here. But why didn't you say anything about it to Tainari? If you misjudge your condition, then there's a chance you could get worse, right? Huh? You mean that Tainari already knows that what you saw weren't hallucinations? But if that's the case, oh, one why would he try to hide that from us? Oh, Paimon gets it now. That explains why you were so quiet earlier. Well, that settles it then. We'll stay here to rest up and figure out what's going on with your hallucinations. But it seems like asking Tainari might not be an option anymore. <sighs> what do you think we should do? Good idea! Kali's pretty friendly. We can ask her tomorrow about what she knows regarding the Dendro Archon and customs in Sumeru. Gonna learn about the customs in Sumeru. I've already killed myself. Wait, what happened? Come on, it's time to go find Kali. Okay. Oh my god. This is Sumeru? This is... This is amazing. How did you kill yourself already? I drowned. Well... That is one where that could be technically the first death in uh, 3.0. All right, next let's see right hand. Hmm, yes, not bad. But please remember that you still need to be careful. Understand? <sighs> yes, I will. By the way, Master, I still haven't received the patrol route for today. Look, Kale, today's patrol will be a long one, so you won't be coming along this time. Oh. Besides, there's a chance we may encounter... Well, you understand. But I have a vision too! <sighs> Am I useless to everyone now? Don't talk like that, Kale. This is not something you need to be worrying about right now. Ah, there you are. Feeling any better? Hopefully. Yeah, since we'll be staying here for now, we thought we might as well try lending a hand around here. <laughs> Seems you're not the type to sit back and take it easy for a while, huh? In that case, perhaps Kale could take you two for a patrol south of Gandarbaville for the day. And if you're feeling up to it, you can be responsible for cleaning the Statue of the Seven. We gotta clean the Statue of Tenari, the Seven? we're ready to head out. Roger, I'll be right there. All right, we'll be heading into the forest now. I'll leave any further details to Kale. Yes, you can count on me. So, Kale, what exactly are we going to... 
to be Duke Tai. Now I mentioned cleaning the statue just now, but uh, that doesn't really sound like the job for a ranger. Well, a forest ranger's responsibilities can be pretty diverse. They handle a variety of tasks, like checking the condition of outlying roads, maintaining forest facilities, ensuring fire prevention standards are met, and providing assistance to travelers and locals. As for Master, well, he has to handle more dangerous areas of the rainforest. Today we can perform routine checks on the pathway lamps as we make our way to the step seven. Hi, Mom, traveler, this way. Yeah, you yes. the task of checking the lamps to me. In the meantime, you two can keep an eye out for anything unusual. Anything unusual. Got it. I see shiny stuff. Oh, that's not shiny stuff. Oh, there's a viewpoint. We want viewpoints. We like viewpoints. Nothing wrong with these two lamps. Let's move to the next ones. Oh, this lamp seems to be getting a little wobbly. Let me make a note of it. Hmm, no problems with this lamp. Good. of the seven is up on top of that large rock formation you must have seen it when you came down this road before it's pretty high up there isn't it don't worry if you're afraid you can't make it up there i'm sure master wouldn't mind if you don't clean the statue oh i guess i'll leave it up to you then there's not much footing once you reach the statue so be careful up there time will fly up with you and help you with those hard to reach areas um by the way, Kale, do you know anything about the Dendro Archon? There you know, we go, we're asking about the Dendro Archon. Uh, that depends. Are you referring to Greater Lord Rukudavata or Lesser Lord Kusanali? Huh? Greater Lord Rukudavata? Rukudavata? Oh, is that the name of the former Dendro Archon? Uh-huh. Greater Lord Rukudavata was Sumeru's first Dendro Archon. She created the rainforest as well as the Wall of Samiel around the desert. Her works provided a means Run of peace and living for everyone. There's a desert? To the people of Sumeru, she's not only a symbol of wisdom, but also of power and kindness. Unfortunately, she disappeared in a great... According to what Master has told me, the sages later found the newly born Dendro Archon and whisked her back to Sumeru. To celebrate the reinstatement of their lost deity, the sages dubbed her Lesser Lord Kusanali and let her reside in the sanctuary of Sarasthana. Uh-huh. Then what happened? Yeah, then what well, happened? And then, uh, uh, I'm not too sure what happened, to be honest. Huh? Mm -hmm. You're not too sure? But aren't you from... S yeah, I'm from Sumeru. Uh, but... Maybe it's difficult to discuss this topic with strangers. If that's the case, then don't worry. No, no, it's not that. I'm not trying to hide something from you. Besides, I don't consider you two strangers. Oh, you don't consider me a stranger? Anyway, y you two know Amber, right? Wait, Amber? You mean... Yes, that's her. I once lived in Mondstadt for a while, and she helped me a lot during that time. You could even say that she helped me become a new person. There's no one like Amber. She lives life to the fullest while always adhering to her strong oh sense of justice. Oh my god. She's ready to answer the call for action at any moment, but is so also very understanding of others. she has a thing for She's Amber? Like the spark that lights the fire in everyone's heart around her. If you ask me, she's a prime example of a true outrider. She's the first person anyone coming to Mondstadt will meet. You can't help but be enthralled by her charm and enthusiasm, oh, you don't know causing you to fall in love with the lands of Mondstadt and... Ah... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Paimon thought the work of Outriders was a little different from what you just described, but to one thing's for sure, you really like Amber. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I was rambling on just now. It must have sounded kind of weird. <laughs> it's uh, alright, Kale. Knowing a that little bit? Of Amber somehow makes Paimon suddenly feel a lot closer to you. So, how do you know that we've met Amber? Well, after 
I returned to Sumeru, Amber and I have stayed in touch by writing each other letters. In one letter, she mentioned that Mondstadt was attacked by a fearsome dragon, but the city was saved by a mysterious blonde traveler and their floating companion. I knew you two were the ones she mentioned in the letter the moment I saw you. But, uh, considering everything you've been through that day, I thought it'd be inappropriate to bring it up. Ah, so that's how you knew. Yep, so please know that you two have my complete trust, really. I wish I could tell you more about the Dendro Archon, but I have been away from Sumeru for some time, and I haven't read any books. Sorry. That's alright. You've already helped us a lot. We had never even heard of Greater Lord Ruka Devata or the Sanctuary of Suristana until you mentioned them. Oh, I'm happy that was helpful. There is one thing I want to ask, though. Why do you two want to know about the Dendro Archon? When does the joke turn black? Hmm. So that's why you're here. Thank you for telling me your story. I'm not hey, sure. We are friends after all, right? Hmm. <laughs> Alright, we have a statue to clean. We gotta clean the you statue. Both have my thanks. Well, you when two the are police up there don't show up. I'll go ahead and inspect the forest canopy. Let's meet <laughs> back here shortly. Hold on one second, everybody. In that, checking out my broadcast of Genshin Impact Road to Sumo. All right, we got a statue. To clean. Content, please. Like and it's up there, of course. Wait, what is this? Stabilize. Okay, that's nothing. Okay, thought that was something. There. Joltek! <clears throat> the Dendro Archon Statue of the Seven is a- Oh my god. It's- It's Sumeru! Oh wait, what is this? Oh, that's a ley line. Okay. There's Sumeru City. But we don't want that right now. Sumeru. Wait. We have resonated with Dendro. Huh. Now that Paimon looks at it. The deity that's carved on the statue is... Okay, I'll go smoke. now. Also... Hmm. Do you think yes, she's Joltik? supposed to be Greater Lord Ruka Devata? Or Lesser Lord Kusanali? The name does seem to fit the statue somehow. You better do what you hear. Hmm. Well, anyway, we'll have to figure uh, out... Ah, I will do another Let's one. focus on our job and clean up this... Oh! Oh no! It's a dendro slime. Is it just Paimon? Or was there something moving? Looks like I had a cabbage. Yeah, that's it. Small and round. Like cabbage, but moving. It really freaked Paimon out. Whatever it was, we should probably go and investigate. Don't worry, Joltik. I just built two decks. Would you like to know what decks Actually, they are? On second thought, maybe we should get to cleaning first. Paimon will fly up and take care of the top, and you clean everything below. A Stardust Dragon deck? A Stardust Dragon deck? And a deck that says, hey, you can't play Yu-Gi-Oh! I won't let you play. Oh. 
Uh, one of the, the well, I mean, yeah, I could basically not let you play Yu-Gi-Oh in one turn. Hi, now. We're back. <laughs> Welcome back. You must be tired after all that climbing. Yes, <laughs> please pull out your McDonald's toys. Bye. I want to see this, Jolte. McDonald's toys versus versus uh, a deck where it says I will not let you play. I mean, I could also play the other uh, the other ones too. Well, I guess Master would say something like, "All plants are living organisms, so they also fall under the category of creatures." Yep. Thank you for coming. Wow! Fascinating. It nice, like Jolte. Nice. That you... Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> Are you too hungry? I know a Hammy was was was, was make it was helping Yay, was teaching things. Hey, don't be a party pooper. It's not like Kale is a stranger or anything. Besides, the best way. I I believe it was. I'd have to look to see. The DMs that we have from that day. I prepared a nice portable dish that forest rangers like to eat called Peter Pockets. I hope you'll like Peter Pockets, what? Uh, <laughs> no, you dropped it on the ground! Not to worry. I wrapped a few layers of oiled paper around each pita. They should be fine. Oh, whew. Paima nearly had a heart attack there. Yeah, we nearly had a heart attack. Those pitas are amazing! You're quite the cook, Kale! Thank goodness you wrapped them in paper. Paimon would if never want, be able yeah. to sleep at night knowing something so tasty had been wasted. <laughs> you really know how to compliment the chef, Paimon. Since you liked it so much, I'll be sure to give you a copy of the recipe sometime. I'll even include all my personal cooking pointers, so you'll Ooh. be making your own pita pockets in no time. We're gonna learn how to make pita Thanks, pockets, Kale. Kale. It's hard to believe someone as diligent as you could have clumsy moments, too. Oh, <laughs> uh, I guess it happens from... So, uh, Kale, don't you think that Tainari's That's... a little too strict with you? He won't let you touch anything without his permission. Paimon knocks stuff over all the time flying around the Traveler, but she's never said anything. Everyone has their clumsy moments. No, no, you've got the wrong idea about Master. Uh, <laughs> sure, he may seem a bit harsh at first, but with some time, you'll see that he's actually very kind-hearted. I've heard the veteran rangers say that Master is from some ancient and mysterious race that is known for their cunning wit and reclusive nature. Oh, by the way, you've uh... heard of the Academia, right? Well, there's a group called, uh, um... Mm. Um, uh, uh, Academia, um, um, something, um, something, um, <laughs> well, something. Anyway, because Master does a lot of research on plants, sages from the Academia have written him many times, inviting him to take up an official position there. But Master declines their offers every time, saying, Sumeru City is too noisy. It'd be bad for my ears. <laughs> Seems you already know him well. Anyway. <laughs> I'm sure the sages were not happy about his responses. Master could obviously have a bright future in the academia, but he insists on sticking to the path of a forest watcher. Every day he helps the locals of the forest and passes on his extensive knowledge to trainees like me. In fact, Master's the one who taught me how to make pita pockets. Really? Paima would have never guessed that. Oh, speaking of Tainari, he was the one who took care of you after finding you passed out yesterday. He even carried you all the way here. Paimon's still kind of upset, though. He kept scolding Paimon the entire way here. Oh, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> Master might have been overreacting a little. But, uh, it's mostly because Paimon wouldn't stop yelling, Why, oh, why? Is she going to die? It probably started to get under Master's skin after a while. Hey! <laughs> Don't laugh! Paimon was genuinely concerned about you. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Now even Kali started to laugh! Ugh, that's it! Paimon won't forget this! It's time for some Paimonial wrath! 
Paimonial Wrath. No! Don't touch me! Huh? Oh, sorry, Kale. Paimon didn't mean to scare you. Uh, no, I, I just... I... I didn't mean that. Kale, are you okay? What's the matter? No, uh... I'm... <laughs> I'm fine. I'm sorry. I must have startled you both reacting like Interesting. that. Interesting. Oh, well, it's getting late now. Uh, let's hurry back to Gundarverville. I think Master and the others should be back by now, too. Huh? What was up with Kai just now? And why is she in such a hurry all of a sudden? Look, she's practically running back. Paimon can't even see her now! Interesting. <laughs> that was kind of weird. Huh. Traveler. Yeah, He's I returned. updated it. Oh, Kale? Yes, I saw her go into her room just a moment ago. Oh, okay. Guess we'll just have to wait. Talk to Mara? It's too late now. Yeah, I know there was an update on the server. I uh, updated the server. Wait, what do I need to, like... Or do we just go around picking stuff up? We'll wait, we'll wait till tomorrow. What time is it saying? Wait until the following day at eight. Oh, wait. Oh, and we oh, had a week here, too? I was just about to go look for you. You were just huh? about to go look Kinari. for me. I came to check on Kale's condition. To put it simply, she's not well. You mean she's sick? How could she be... Oh, wait a minute. Could it be because of what Paimon did yesterday? No, no need to worry. <laughs> something as small as you could never harm her. Uh, this sickness is something that Kale has been dealing with for some time. Kale has been more excited than usual since you two arrived. A little too much so, to be honest. 
She hasn't remembered to take care of herself. <sighs> I suppose it's understandable. Same though. thing. I got she him hasn't too. been around anyone she considered a friend for some time now. I'm missing the uh, four star. For to have you two here. So, Kanari, oh. what's really wrong with Kale? <clears throat> Let's take this conversation elsewhere. Kale just fell asleep after taking her medicine. She needs some peace and quiet. We're just streaming Genshin right now live. <sighs> Paimon was thinking all night about what happened with Kale. And still can't figure out what the problem might be. Nate All right, let's continue our conversation here, shall we? You can get her honest, from doing this quest, I didn't realize I think. that you're that honorary knight from Mondstadt until Kale told me just now. I've also I don't heard think all you about could. your deeds in Liyue and Inazuma. So, I just think to she, clarify, she, you have to pull what I'm far. about to tell you about Kale is not because of who you are or your past feats. Instead, I am going to tell you because... Well, because Kale asked me to. And honestly speaking... I was against Kale revealing her past to you, but she insisted, saying you two treated her with sincerity and as a friend. So now she wishes to reciprocate the gesture. So oh, Kanari, that nice. what exactly is wrong with Kale? You said this is something she's been dealing with for some time. Just how serious is it? Right. Ever since she was a child, she's been afflicted with a disease called Elazar. Elazar? Elazar? Yes. It's a disease unique to the lands of Sumeru. It is characterized by dark and hardened scales that form on the body. At oh. first, the afflicted may only feel mild numbness on the affected area of the skin. However, as the disease progresses, one may begin feeling fatigued and even experience peripheral paresthesia. In its final stages, the disease strips a person of the ability to control their own body and they effectively become completely immobile. That sounds terrifying. So basically they turn to stone? Wait, hold on. So when Kale seemed to be acting a little clumsy earlier, it was because... Correct. That would be the effects of Elazar, which is precisely why I do not want her carrying or holding anything, lest she ends up hurting herself. With appropriate treatment, the disease can be effectively controlled before it progresses to a more serious stage. However, there is unfortunately still no true cure for Elazar. Nevertheless, Kale's mother still hoped that there was something out there. She handed Kale over to an organization known as the Fatui after one of their members lied and said they had a cure. Uh. What? The Fatui? Ah. It appears you are already familiar with them. That'll save me some explanation. Anyway, the person who eventually rescued Kale and brought her to me for care said that she had been given to a harbinger known as the Doctor. I have no idea how this Doctor managed to do it, but her case of Elazar was completely stable for all the years that Kale was with them. However, Kale's days with the Fatui were anything but pleasant. Kale is a resilient individual and always tries to appear cheerful but her experience with the Fatui has left deep scars. Even now, she can still feel deathly afraid of someone touching her. Oh, Paimon had no idea Kale's been through so much the suffering. The doctor. Oh, by the way, Paimon. That was at Kale the end of the... to tell you that she's sorry for scaring you yesterday. That she was at the end of, of the uh, trailer that we saw with the Fatui. She doesn't need to And the Harbingers when she None woke this up. Is her fault at all. Well said. I hope you'll get a okay, chance to tell her that, that in makes person sense next time now. you see her. Kale once thought that it would be impossible for her to have any real friendships. I trust that you two will never let my trainee experience such emotional pain again. Don't worry, Tainari. We'll take good care of her. Well, it's not too serious at this point. She overexerted herself the last couple of days, which is what led to her breakdown this time. As long as she has taken her medicine and gets plenty of rest, she should get better. Though, I must admit that Kale's condition was much more stable when she first arrived here in Gundarvaville. She was interested in the work of the forest rangers the moment she saw us. I could see that she was serious about learning, 
so I felt compelled to ask her to join us. Her stamina has gotten much worse recently. Though a moderate amount of physical exercise is always necessary, I'm afraid the long-distance patrols are a little too much for her. <sighs> All right. Now that I've told you about Kale's past, I think I'll head into the rainforest to find some ingredients needed for her medicine. I'll see you two later. Yeah, we'd like to do something to help Kale. All right, but I must warn you two. The rainforest is a dangerous place, especially for someone who's still recovering like the Traveler. You must follow closely and listen to every instruction. No problemo! Let's go then. We'll be looking for a plant known as Lunar Lotus. It's often used to help those afflicted with Elazar recover their energy. Hey, Hainari? Where exactly are we going to find this plant? Lunar Lotus can be found all over the rainforest, but it often grows right here around Gundargaville. Hmm. Where are you going? Given oh. the name, it sounds like we should be looking for it in the water. Oh. You're correct. Lunar lotus grows in the water. Did we just when jump fully on mature, a they look like giant blue flowers floating on the water's surface. Quite an attractive species, if you ask me. The large petals are actually the plant's leaves and sepals, jumped on. which surround a very small flower. Jumped on a mush. You should note that many of the plants found in Sumeru have names that are contrary to their species. Take the Kalpalata, for example. The plant is not a lotus at all, but rather a vine. And Kalpa then there's the Sumeru Rose, which is not a rose, completely contrary to its name. Huh? Oh! Huh. Um... Okay, then. Never bring up the topic of flowers with Tainan. Oh no, you flew in the air. How dare you. Alright. Bye-bye. Good night. How dare that thing. Back down on the ground. There you go. Bye bye, Rin. Ah. Oh. Right wood is here. Or whatever that kind of wood is here. There should be lunar lotuses growing somewhere in this area. Let's split up and begin searching. If you could manage to gather four of them, that would be sufficient. We'll rendezvous here once you've gathered the needed amount. Download it for us, too. I have to down. I have to get four of these lotuses. One, two, three. All right, we've gathered enough lunar lotuses. Let's head back to meet Tainari. Let's get the rest. Lotuses, because I don't know. If we may need more. Hey, Tainari, we found We're streaming live on you. Well, I'm streaming live on YouTube. Let me take a look. Hmm. Good. Very good. I'm quite glad you two came along. Your exploration experience helped save me a lot of time here. It seems we even have enough time to stock up on some other things I need. Hey, Tainari. Oh, Tainari. Dressed like a fork. Ah, yes, that's Amir and the others. But didn't they just set off not too long ago? What are they doing back so early? Let's go find out what's going on. Uh oh. There seems to be trouble.
Tainari, thank goodness we found you here. We were just yeah. about to head back and find you at Gandarvaville. What happened? What's going on? We just discovered a withering zone. The withering is back? But the patrol route you were on should have been already cleared just a week ago. It reappeared so quickly. Can you tell me the exact location? It's up ahead, deep in the river valley. It's appeared in a spot that blocks nearly the entire narrow part of the valley area, so we decided to come find you as quickly as possible. And the radius of the contamination? Sorry, I couldn't get a clear enough view to tell. No one in our patrol team had a vision, and it appeared to still be spreading, so we didn't risk getting any closer. Okay, I understand. You made the right decision. I'll go deal with it right away. In the meantime, Please guide these two back to Gondarvaville. Wait! Tainari! Why don't you let us help you? You two have only just arrived in Sumeru. You're still unfamiliar with many things in it. There's a unique type of anomaly that occurs in the Sumeru rainforest. It's called the withering. The affected areas not only cause nearby vegetation to wither, but it's also lethal to wildlife and even people. If you don't carry a vision, then you should think twice before approaching such places. Yes, Amir is absolutely right. I wasn't kidding when I said the rainforest is a dangerous... As Amir said, only someone with a vision, that is, the power to manipulate elements, will be able to resist the withering's corrosive effects for a time. That's right. If any of the forest rangers without a vision come across a withering zone, we first make a record of the location and then have a ranger with the proper abilities deal with it, like Tainari here. Only someone with a vision can venture within a withering zone and find a way to deal with it. But you don't seem to carry a vision. Don't worry. She may not have a vision, but she's a real pro at using the power of the element. Hmm. It seems the rumors about you are true. In that case, all right, you two may accompany me. We typically only teach visitors how to identify the withering as they're about to leave Gundarvaville. We'll make an exception today and show you what it looks like up close. Oh, we're gonna go find out what it looks like up close. <laughs> Collecting anything that's shiny. Stop. Don't move any further. Look there, in the distance. Huh? Where? Oh, look! Those plants have withered! That whole area is kinda gloomy. Even the air looks like it's filled with ash. Oh, Paimon doesn't like the look of this. That is the withering. All right, Traveler. We're going to have to enter that withering zone. Once inside, we'll need to look for what we call Tumors of the Withering. If we eliminate those, then the area will be saved. Thank you, but I must warn you. Don't push yourself. This is your first time handling this sort of thing, after all. Even with elemental powers, once you step inside the Withering Zone, you may experience extreme discomfort. If at any point it becomes too much, return outside the zone and take a breather. It could become a matter of life and death. You ready then? Let's go. What elemental, what status effect am I gonna get now? First, we must locate any branches sustaining the withering zone. Solidify! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what am I doing here? Worthless! Oh, okay, I have to keep these branches up. Great work. 
Now that all the branches have been cleared, we'll need to take care of the tumor. Evil conquering! <laughs> Worthless! Tear! How's it going? Zongli 50 slash 50 to see one Mona. Go as play! Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Lost for 50 50 to Mona? Oh no. Well, I, I did get uh, the, the, the 5 star, but I'm stuck on this now. Do I have to fight the enemies then? Do I just kill the enemies then? Now, destroy the tumors of the withering. There we go. Okay, I had to kill the enemies. Useless, boring. Useless. Okay. Uh, what am I doing here? Oh. Okay. Is returning to normal now. Yes, thanks to you two. We were able to quickly restore this area back to normal. Um, Tainari? You make it sound like we did well, but why does Paimon have the feeling you're worried about something? It's that obvious, huh? <laughs> Alright, it's like this. Recently, the rate at which the Withering Zone appears has been increasing. Even though we were able to quickly clear that withering zone, it won't be long before another one appears. If that simply meant more work for me, then that wouldn't be an issue. But it's far more severe than that. The withering is leaving lasting effects on the rainforest itself. For instance, even though we cleared out the withering zone, many of the plants that were affected will not recover. This presents a crisis for the ecosystem itself. Many plants in the rainforest are already in decline, directly impacting the wildlife that depends on those plants. And most disturbingly, as the appearances of withering zones have started to increase, Kale's case of Elazar has also become more serious. Huh? But why is that? I'm still not sure of the exact reason. However, I've received word from acquaintances at the Academia that similar cases are being reported for patients with other conditions. No, none that we know of. The withering has been recorded in Sumeru for millennia. It's said that it originates from the depths of the world. By the way, have you heard of Ermensoul before? Ermensoul? Ermensoul is a tree located deep beneath the surface. Although it isn't like any tree we know in a biological sense, you can basically think of it as a large tree that grows downwards rather than upwards. I'm sure you've heard of ley lines, right? They're like the roots of Ermensol, Downwards? Extending from a massive upwards? cavern deep underground all the way up to the surface. Ley lines continually absorb the memories of this world, which are then funneled into Ermensol. Allowing it to collect knowledge and wisdom from ancient times to present day. The Dendro Archon is known as the God of Wisdom because her consciousness is directly connected to it. It is also said that the Dendro Archon's power is a manifestation of Ermin's soul. And as for the withering, its emergence is related to a disease that's affecting it. That's right. My ancestors learned of this from Greater Lord Ruka Devata's familiars a long time ago. But even those mysterious creatures did not know of a cure for Ermin's soul. 
I'm afraid we rangers will be battling the withering zones here for a long time until a cure is found. All right, that's enough on this topic for the time being. Now that we've taken care of things here, it's time for us to head back to con- So where are we going now? So we can just go back to here. Tainari, you all made it back. How did it go? Of course we the withering zone back. you reported has been taken care of. No yeah. need to worry. Huh. Wait, is that? Oh no, Hapasia! Huh? What's wrong, Tainari? Hmm? This Duskbird is Hapasia's designated courier for urgent news. You do remember her, don't you? She's the scholar you and Paimon were following when you first arrived in Sumeru. Oh, her? How could we forget? Uh, so did something happen? Let me see what's written in the letter first. Hmm. Oh. So what's it say? And what's with that weird expression on your face? Uh, just let Paimon read it. Huh? Uh, all Paimon sees are three squiggly lines. <sighs> yes, allow me to explain. After we brought you from Hapasia's cave to Gondarvaville, Hapasia resumed her meditation. She must have just finished. It's been nearly three days since she's had anything to eat, and it appears she's forgotten to prepare some rations. This letter is her asking us for help. We need to go. What? You mean she's been sitting there for three days? Hey, wait, how did uh. you know all that from just a few lines on the paper? Well, obviously because this has happened before. Last time, she drew five lines, and by the time we found her... <clears throat> well, I'd prefer not to remember that. Needless to say, hapasia has been through worse, but we should still get to her five as quickly as possible. Five lines is what? I've got some emergency rations set aside for times like these. Paimon, Traveler, could you two bring these to her? Wait, you want us to bring her the rations? Uh, but will the Traveler be okay if her cave is still filled with that... Funny incense? Let's find out. Here, Traveler, take a smell and see. So, how do you feel? Huh? Really? You're not feeling even a little drowsy? But wait, how'd you know that she'd be okay this time, Tainari? Back when we were clearing the withering zone, I observed that she could adeptly manipulate the dendro element. I knew then that she would be fine. And if I may ask, when I was telling you two about Ermin Soul's ley lines, was what I described similar at all to what you saw while you were unconscious? That's correct. Those weren't hallucinations at all. Though I don't intend to apologize for deceiving you. Because what you saw is of significant importance. Not just for the nation of Sumeru, but the entire world of Tavat. My forefathers were shown much favor by greater lord Ruka Devata, we took an oath to protect this nation together with her. Now that that duty has fallen to me, it was part of my responsibilities to ascertain whether you could be entrusted with the fate of Sumeru. Now, after seeing you in action with my own eyes, you have earned my confidence, and I no longer feel the need to hide any secrets from you. Oh, so he was hiding secrets when from When you me. passed out, your consciousness had connected directly with Ermansoul. What you witnessed were actually real memories contained within Ermin soul itself. I could try to tell you more, but it would be better if you went to ask Hapasia instead. Her focus on meditation and use of spirit borneal are aimed at establishing a connection with Ermin soul, just as you did. Uh, that sounds nice and all, but will she really help us? Seriously, she completely ignored us the last time we tried talking to her. That was because when you ran into her, she was in a special phase of her training. During that time, she must avoid communicating with others. Please, wait here for a moment.
I'm gonna wait here. Here, take these. It's a meal I packed for Hypatia, as well as some other ingredients. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Also, here's a letter that I would like you to give to her. Just show it to her and she'll answer any questions you may have. No. I should be the one thanking you. You've both been a great help these last few days. Hypatia should still be in the cave. Let's go inside and see how she <laughs> Once, there was a glorious... Oh, so I have to do this. Hopefully... Papacia should still be in the cave. Let's go inside and see how she's doing. Hello? Hapatia? Hey, there's nobody here. Hmm. Maybe Not she there. wants to look for some food. Let's try looking around the area. Yes. 
now. Up, didn't I? Yeah, I did. So, no, uh, I hate these damn mushrooms. One, two, this weekend or next three. weekend, I'll come over and clean your systems. All right. Not ah, too soon on that. One, two. Not ah, too soon. No! Trampoline mushrooms are fun. Trampoline mushrooms. Yeah, I know, but I'm trying to get to this really pad over it. Here, got it. It's supposed to go that way. No, stay good. The hell? What is going on? What is this place? Huh? What happened just now? Why did everything around us suddenly change? Am I tripping? Like, am I... Was... Well... Huh? Made it. Oh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. I got him. I didn't get the four star, though. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, right there. Wait, can I save it? Can I save it? Nope. Aww, oh, this is sad. Now I have to go through this whole trampoline process again. Uh, okay, messed that up completely. I got both and a C. I got a C zero, but you know what? I'm okay with this. I have a C6. Uh, I, I'm. Ah, I'm, oh, come on. I'm okay with this. I want to get. I'm going to get her eventually. But, uh. Got it. Okay. Don't mess this up. Do not mess this up. Good, we didn't mess this up. The jumping mechanic is weird.
Yeah. Are controls in this area. My luck is back with the new version. Nice! I'm probably gonna test my luck on pulling for the weapon because I need both of those weapons. Hopefully I get the bow. No! What am I doing? No! I wanna go back! Why am I a little... Why am I flying? No. No, 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 no. I want to go back! I don't want to be here! Wait. I don't want to be here! There's a treasure chest! Uh, I just realized that I don't have a single five-star Electro for nearly two years. Dang. That is an interesting ability to do. Now before we do that, is there anything... There's a chest right here. No, don't you dare tell me I have to go through the... I know this works out. I could go back. Okay, hooray. Yes, Sumeru, you've returned. I'm alive. No, don't do this to me! <laughs> I gotta jump again. Fine, we'll play your game! Nope! 
I hate these mushrooms. Is this the new place? This is the new place. This is Sumeru. Or Sumeru. There's a big old ruin guard that moves. I'm quitting Genshin. Uh, good thing there's two of them, right? No, yes. But now I'm confused of what I'm supposed to do because. <laughs> no. Let me try this again. go up here, I guess? Yes, I did pull for the new Dendro <laughs> character. And I got the one Dendro character. There we go. Alright. We're, 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 we're good now. We're good. We're good, folks. Wait, we're back here. Wait, what is going on here? This place is getting weirder by the minute. It's like we're tripping hey, balls. What's the matter? You don't look so good. Like, why are we in an Azuma? Why are we in an Azuma? Investigate the what? Amy. Investigate the courtyard far down the corridor. Alright, uh. I'm investigating it. What am I supposed to look for? Um, 
There's a little glowing thing right there. But I don't see... Oh, wait, okay. That's what I needed to do. Duh. Okay. I needed to use my vision. They ripped me off and gave me a version of Ganyu, a rip-off version of Ganyu. <laughs> I want my refund. I mean, I got the five-star Dendro. I wanted both. Wait, why are we going back? What are we doing now? Where are we going now? Uh, what is this place? Oh no! Why? Why? Why is this here? Why is this here? Why is he here? Why are you here? So, um, if you guys want to see, I'm fighting something very interesting on YouTube right now. It's an abyss arrow, of course. Stabilize. Yeah, no, no, he's dead, but now he's doing his little shield thingy where I can't uh, hit him. Uh, why can't I hit you? Oh, there we go. He's dead now. Something's going on. Though you may have managed to avert countless crises before, your good fortune was bound to end sooner or later. It's time you realize how weak and powerless you really are. Your brother. <laughs> oh, pitiful traveler. Are you really so ignorant? Or are you just living in complete denial? Interesting. Let's go. His Highness has long since forsaken you. Your meager existence in his eyes is that of an annoying bug, only to be stepped upon. The bonds of love and family which drive you to find your sibling are utterly gone. Your journey is meaningless. But don't you fret now. Today will be your last. Now die! I'm gonna die? Wait, wait. I gotta fight again? Do I fight the Abyss Mage again? The Abyss Herald? Oh, no, I don't fight the Abyss Herald. I'm back at... Where am I now? Is I dream? I was dreaming. What do we do? We haven't seen Hapatia anywhere out here. Oh, there she is! Quick, let's see how she's doing. Wait. Oh, so sweet. Mmm. 
The good news is that she's still conscious. Hey, why'd you drop her food on the floor like that? Uh, are you okay? That's really not like you. Anyways, we can talk about this later. We better make sure she's alright first. Interesting. Whoa! Wait a sec. Look at all this fruit lying around her. We can put that to good use. What? Wait, wait we can put that to good use? Uh huh? Sure. Uh, who is there? Tainari, is that you? Uh, huh? It's okay. You can relax, Hapatia. Tainari sent us here to bring you some food and water. Here, we have a letter that he asked us to give you. Yes, he gave us a letter to give to you. I see. So, you're friends of Tainari. I apologize for all the trouble I've caused you. I'm grateful that you came so quickly to save me. You even brought all this fruit. Uh, well, actually, we didn't bring the fruit. It was already here when we arrived. I have a question. Why is the I'm apple like... I'm wondering about that, actually. When we found you here, there was all this fruit big. lying around and even some juice. Dripping from your lips. Interesting. Uh, how did you end up like this anyway? Oh, really? Hmm, I seem to understand now. All the fruit was likely from my, uh, neighbor. Must have come by and saw me like this. Your neighbor? You mean there's someone else living nearby? Oh? So you're able to see them too? Uh... Second traveler, you say that before we arrived, you saw some mysterious creature and suddenly had a strange dream? Isn't that a little too crazy to believe? No, I actually do believe what the traveler is saying. I myself had a similar experience once before and ended up scaring my timid little neighbor here. You needn't worry. They mean you no harm. They only dragged you into the dream because they hoped to buy themselves a little time in order to scurry away. So... Hypatia, just what kind of creature is your neighbor exactly? I'm not sure what it's called, to be honest. But I do know that they have some sort of deeper connection with the Dendro Archon. I know this because the first time I saw them was also the exact day my consciousness was able to form a connection with Ermin's soul. Even after I opened my eyes and stopped meditating, my heart was still pounding. <laughs> And my mind was racing with all the knowledge that I had touched. And at that very moment, I suddenly noticed a small figure at the opening of the cave. In my curiosity, I began to walk over to the creature. They must have already been used to me living in the cave, because they didn't seem to mind me approaching them. They just kept doing whatever they were up to. <laughs> it wasn't until I crouched down next to them that they suddenly realized that I could see them. And then... And then, I had a dream. By the time I came to, they were nowhere to be seen. I was convinced they'd never show up again. But, sure enough, I saw them nearby a few days later. And they weren't alone. I feel like they aren't as afraid of me as the first time I approached them. But I never would have expected them to save me. Yes, no doubt about that. By the way... Tainari mentioned in his letter that you had questions for me regarding Ermansoul. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sounds like just drinking juice still isn't quite enough for my stomach. Well, if somebody hadn't dropped the food earlier... <sighs> anyway, looks like we'll need to prepare something ourselves. Besides, Paimon's getting hungry too. Let's... All right, we're up, Traveler. Today's menu will feature sweet madame and a radish veggie soup. You'll love them, Hypatia. They're our specialties after all. Mm, sounds good. I've never tried any dishes from other nations before. 
I certainly look forward to it. It's been so long since I've had a decent meal, too. To be honest, the <laughs> last time had to be when Tainari came to visit. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, wait, this up. Talk here. Yeah, there it is. All done. Let's use the empty box that Tainari gave us since we already watched it. Oh, it smells amazing. And the box is a nice touch, too. Let's go serve this up and Are you already finished cooking? Mmm, smells delectable. I'm truly thankful whenever I can enjoy a proper meal like this. Uh, cooking really is... <laughs> Even though everything you mentioned was in Tainari's letter, it's still hard to believe you were able to connect with Ermin's soul immediately after smelling spirit born eel for the first time. It took me nearly three years before I could do so. And everyone at the academia even lauded me as a genius. You should know that some researchers spent their entire lives without ever successfully connecting with Ermin's soul as you have. So why does this incense allow people to connect to- The ingredients used to make spirit born eel primarily consist of plants created by Greater Lord Ruka Devata. These special ingredients are conducive to heightening our senses to the Dendro Archon's power. Since the root of the Dendro Archon's power lies within Ermensoul, we can occasionally tap into her powers to peer into the depths of the Earth. Naturally, anyone who can establish yeah. a connection with Ermensoul in their first ever attempt must be a person of great understanding. Mm. Makes sense. But Paimon's got a question. Why was she sensitive to the smell of those plants for such a long time? That was primarily due to her body's unique constitution. Stimulated by the incense, she could perceive the Dendro Archon's power and experience the sensory overload. Hence, the adverse reactions. Taking in any scent similar to the ingredients of Spirit Born Ale would cause adverse effects. Not to worry, though. It appears you've already fully recovered. Technically, your body should still be sensitive to the powers of the Dendro Archon, but unless you're using intentional meditation techniques, the scent of Spirit Born Ale should no longer trigger such reactions. Whew. Well, that's a relief. I must admit, I am quite envious of your abilities. Even if it meant suffering from pounding headaches for the rest of my life, I'd consider it worthwhile so long as I could connect with Ermin Soul at Whoa! You're really serious about this whole thing, aren't you? <laughs> I am yeah. a researcher after all. As a member of the Ritawes Darshan at the Academia, my main area of research is the stars and their connection to the fate of living beings. But there is still so much we don't know, especially regarding the mysteries that lie in the starry skies. Which is why I must turn to the all-knowing Ermensoul for answers. If only my perception wasn't so limited. Unfortunately, I cannot guarantee that my every attempt to attune with Ermensoul will be successful, or that doing so will leave my consciousness intact. I am currently in the stage of training known as Satyavada Life. Many researchers in Sumeru have lost their minds while seeking to attune with Ermensoul during this stage. Sages have said that oh, Ermensoul no. contains divine knowledge. And touching such knowledge without the proper preparations and abilities will only lead to one's mind caving in on itself. That's why we meditate alone. We need to ensure that our minds will be calm while minimizing the possibility of involving anyone else. Whoa! So knowledge from Ermensoul can be super dangerous! Aren't you afraid of the risk, Hapeja? Of course I do. Especially during nights that are pitch black with no moonlight, and dead silent without even the sound of insects. 
However, I've been feeling better as of late. I don't get as scared anymore knowing that I have a little neighbor living nearby. I believe that being able to see them is a sort of blessing from the Dendro Archon. <laughs> but what's strangest of all is that they're clearly an envoy of the God of Wisdom herself. Mm. And they have the curious power to make people dream. What's so strange about that? It doesn't sound so out of place for a divine being, does it? Well, it's strange because nearly nobody in Sumeru can ever dream. Ah, huh. is that true? Yes, well, Wait. to an extent. Only children can dream in Sumeru. Adults, however, never do. The sages say that wisdom implies rationality, but that which occurs in dreams is often no neither rational nor Sumeru? logical. Yes, if one struggles with anxieties, those emotions could influence their dreams. The fact that the people of Sumeru do not have dreams is seen as a blessing by the sages. They believe that Greater Lord Ruka Devata, the God of Wisdom, is keeping us away from the foolish delusions you encounter in your sleep. I was born into a family of scholars in Sumeru City. Ever since I was a child, my parents would always tell me that I'll know I've grown up once I stop dreaming. I studied hard, enrolled as a student in the academia, and went on to become a researcher. <sighs> sure enough, I never dreamed again. But then... On the day I scared the little Aranara, I suddenly saw a dream again. It was incredible. Though I don't exactly remember what I saw, I clearly recall the feeling. Back then, I was foolish and ignorant as any youth would be. Yeah. But I was free of fear. Maybe dreaming isn't as bad as we've made it out to be. <clears throat> uh, just be sure not to speak of this if you travel to Sumeru City. They'll look at you as if you've lost your mind. So, do you have any thoughts about the things she saw when she connected with Erminsul? Sorry. I'm afraid I don't have any answers as of now. All I can say is that what you saw is a memory contained within Erminsul itself. Hmm. World forget me. What could that possibly mean? Uh... If only I could ascend past Satyavada life and begin Paripurna life, I might have some more answers for you. Ah, if you two are ever in the area again, please be sure to come and see me. There's no need to be thanking All me. Right. You two are my saviors. Besides, I'm already looking forward to tasting some more of your cooking. <laughs> Hapasia is all right, and had the chance to ask her some questions, Paimon thinks it's about time to head back to Gandharvaville. All right, we're going back to the... Going back to Gandharvaville. Think about it, Tainari. Refusing to join is tantamount to burying your head in the sand. I understand that you're a forest watcher and that it's your duty to combat the effects of withering zones, but isn't it evident that such work is not a lasting solution to the problem? As Sage Kajay clearly stated, your presence and guidance in Sumeru City is pivotal in finding a cure for Ermansul. How could you possibly refuse? Keep your emotions in check, Gulam. Let's at least listen to Tainari's reason for declining. We're here to invite him to the Academia, not to cause a scene. Sage Kaje, I am truly honored that you came here in person, but I'm afraid I must still decline your invitation. I am merely a forest watcher. How could the great minds of the Harabatat have any need of someone like me? <laughs> well, it turns out that your refusal letter had some implications on your master's reputation. He is a renowned sage of the Immorta, after all. So now I've come here in his stead. I see. Huh. And I figured that given his temper, he would come here and berate me personally. Tainari, 
Your master is an integral part of this effort, and now he requires your assistance. And what exactly does my master need of me, Sage Kaje? You'll know, once you've arrived in Sumero City, that is. And how long will I be required to stay? Uh, there's no definite answer as of now. Do you mean to tell me that despite coming all the way here to Kandarbaville, you still can't answer the questions I laid out in the letter to my master? If that's the case, then I'm afraid I cannot give you a definite answer either. Tainari, but you... Ah, uh, so be it. Come, Gulam, we're leaving. Uh-oh. Uh, Tainari, what was that all about? It's nothing. Some people from the academia wanted me to go to Sumeru City to assist them with a project. But I had to refuse on account of all my responsibilities here. But all that can wait. How did things go with Hapasia? It was quite the eventful trip. But the main thing is that she's safe and sound. She answered a bunch of questions for us, too. Very good. Now that the Traveler has made a full recovery, there shouldn't be any reason for you to tarry here longer. I assume you will be heading to Sumeru City, correct? That's right! We want to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali. Sorry, I'm afraid I don't have any advice for you. Well, do you at least know anyone we can try- Hmm, let me think. My trips to Sumeru City have been fairly short, and most of my acquaintances are researchers. How about this? I'll write you a letter of introduction that you can give to a researcher I know. He's from the Amorta Darshan and is adept at gathering information. Asking him might prove worthwhile. Also, when you enter Sumeru City, you'll probably end up receiving something like this item here. I'm not sure if it will ever come in handy for you, but maybe you can give it a try. Oh? What is it? It's called an Akasha Terminal. It's a tool produced by the Academia that utilizes the legacy of Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Some say that this very item is the basis of Sumeru's reputation. Needless to say, this device and its usage fall under the Academia's expertise. So I'll leave it to them to show you how to use it. Great! Next up, Sumeru City! That's right! Tainari, we have something important to say to Kale before we leave. Is she doing... Yes, she's doing much better. After being confined to her bed all this time, I thought a little walk would do her some good. Last I saw her, she was taking the path towards the North Cross. She knew you two would be leaving soon, so she must have wanted to see you off. Thanks, Tainari. All right, let's go! Yeah. Farewell, and good luck to you. You two. I, uh... Here we are. Well, uh... <sighs> Never mind. I guess I should just wish you two a safe and successful journey. Thanks for waiting here just to see us off, Kale. We're headed to Sumeru City. Don't worry about me. Yeah, there I was me. I myself. My condition won't be getting in the way of my duties. I want to be a forest ranger after all. And, uh... Well, uh... I'm sorry. I should have told you both about my condition when we first met. But I guess now I understand that the most important thing is for friends to be genuine with one another. There's no need to apologize, Kale. We should be thanking you for trusting us enough to be your friends. And Chip, we're probably still gonna worry about your condition. But that's because we're friends and we care about you. Thank you. That means a lot. Uh, before you leave, I have something for you. Oh? What is it's my recipe for pita pockets. Oh. I told you that I'd give you a copy, remember? My handwriting is a little uh, messy, so please don't laugh. Yay! Thanks, Kale. Now you can make pita pockets. Little now. pitas whenever and wherever. Yay! You like. I hope that whenever you eat them, you'll both remember your time here in Gandarvaville. Well then, I, trainee forest ranger Kale, bid you both farewell. Please visit Gandarvaville again. The rangers will always be ready to assist you here. Well, 
Well. That was fun. Alright, I think I'm gonna go end my stream today. Uh, at this moment. Yeah. So, uh... Take care, everybody. Have a nice night or day. Please feel free to uh, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit that like button on the video and hit that subscribe button. They are both free. Don't cost anything. Uh, I look forward to you seeing you guys tomorrow as we go through Sumeru City as well as the rest of the uh, Archon Quest line as well as anything else we'll find. Uh, we may be able to do some of these uh, domains that they have. Uh, take a look at some of the other. So, um, see you guys tomorrow. And uh, take care, everyone.